Hi guys, welcome to another episode from Caster Crafty Carper TV. Today I'm going to be talking through bait wise. A lot of lads have asked me what I put in my stick mix, which I make through for winter, for summer, for France, wherever I go. I always take a stick mix with me, always hang on the hook or pull a hook length through, uh, put the hook in the bottom. Just helps with presentation and able to get out there because I don't use PVA bags, so I go along the mess side of things. Just wanted to give you a rough idea what I put into my bag, so I'll just show you now. So, um, currently using CC Moore's live system. I have 15 mil boilers at the back there, live system, 12 mil, 10 mils normally in there. Uh, live system bag mix, some live system pallets, they are the 6 mil. Some live system further pallets, 3 mil. Mix it in with the live system bait booster or you can add the amino 365 which i haven't got at the moment but that's what's going to go into stick mix what i'll do is i'll make a video now of what how i make it turn it all up see what it looks like uh, and go from there see you shortly so welcome back guys and gals sorry i'm not on video but i wanted to show you how i go about making my live system bag mix so as you can see i've set up the ridge monkey crusher which is on a ridge monkey bucket so it's a bit dark, it's dark outside, so everything's done under light at the moment. Uh, what I'll start off with is I get only probably a few handfuls of the, of the 15 mil crush, as you can see. That's probably about it. I don't want much more because the bag mix and the uh, pallets and things will make up for the stickiness and things. So give them a crush. Easier said than done. Would I prefer the handle over the right way? One second. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that's what we learn from. Handle of the bucket the other side to the handle of the chopper. Right, so quick round of these. A lot easier with these than like things like the quarter crusher but if you're doing a mix on the bank quarter crushers are fine and um, this is just for ease really you can do a couple of kilo at a time or you can buy the extensions which makes it you can put a three or four kilo bag in at once and grind it all in one go so i'll take that off and that's the base layer of my mix as you can see give you the light that is just some chopped up boilies all on the floor brilliant so to that mix i will add some 10 mil live system boilies these are all shelf life they're not frozen you can get them in frozen for when you go france so maybe two or three handfuls maybe crush a few through your fingers as you put them in so that's that as you can see, a few chopped boilies, a few boilies in there. Next, 6ml pallet. I say just a few handfuls of these as well. You can have the live system pallets, or some people prefer to buy coppins from the shops. The only thing with live system is they've got the smell to them as well. So, a couple of handfuls of them in. Uh, I've also just bought the 3 mil pallets as well. I think this just gives, gives the fish something different to aim at as well as the big stuff. So they're all in air seal bags so they can all go back okay. So just a tip full of them in. Right, that's all in. Fine. Give that a shake. Get your hands in. Now for me, that would be good enough for most fish. I mean, I haven't put any live system bag mix in. You can put that in a bag quite easily. There won't be any issues. Uh, what I'll do now is I get the live system bag mix. Probably say about a third of a bag. Something like that into that mix I've just done. Well, I'll mix that in again with my hands. That's starting to look 
very appetizing i'll do now bit of live system bait booster not going to need a lot maybe a couple of spoonfuls if you like me don't mind getting your hands dirty get stuck in and what you're looking for here is a bit of consistency so you want to try and make it quite sticky so if you, if you grab a handful and squeeze and it sort of forms together probably I'd add a tiny bit more there I'd add a bit more of a live system bag mix just because it's got powder in makes it a bit more sticky and probably just a little more dollop of the old uh, live system bait booster that should be enough now oh smells like ice cream really can't complain at live system especially this time of year works well all year for me but if you're going to go through winter with it it'll be great so a good old mix as you can see a bit of everything in there now so like i say grab a handful give it a squeeze it is quite sticky now as you can see it's sticking to my hands so that's how you make the uh, bag mix that I'm going to be using for the foreseeable future. Hope it does you well. I'll catch you soon. So after I have made a stick mix, I normally do make sticks before I go. Um, I'm going to make a few sticks and then I'll show you the rig that I use with them and how I put them on and then you can use them for your arsenal in the future. So what I do is I get a PVA tube. So this would be the 34mm, 37mm from Fox. I do actually get the mesh from a gentleman called the Mesh Man on Facebook. Uh, he's done all the refills at a decent price and they've been very good. So I got a Fox one because I just needed the tube as I broke the tube and I needed a plunger. So what I do is you come with a hole in, so tie a knot in the bottom. Then all I would do is hold it tight, pull the mesh right up as tight as you can to so the top here where the product's going to go is nice and tight. Stick it in your bucket, get a nice big dollar pin. So have a look inside, see how big the stick is. So I would say that's about right for me, as you can see. That's my stick mix in there. Still nice and tight at the bottom. And what I do is I grab the plunger, which is here. Put the bottom on a bucket or onto uh, something quite st firm. So I normally use it, I use my leg or I'll use a bucket. Get the plunger, give it a good prod. As you pick it back up, still keep the mesh nice and tight at the bottom. As you can see, nice and tight. Still nice and tight. Now what I'll do now is I'll push that out slowly. Slowly is the key here, because if it goes too soft, you won't be able to tie it properly. So as you can see, the plunger's out. It's nice and tight. That's a good stick. Probably a little bit longer would have done me, but that'll be fine. Pull the plunger out. Grab the mesh at the bottom. Don't be scared of pulling too much mesh off. It's fine. It'll go back on after. So... Get your bag, it should be nice and tight, compact with the mix that we made, so it's not going to fall anywhere. Quick overhang knot. If you pull it like a loop, like so. I'll show that a bit better because I was taught by a good friend of mine. So you've got the loop in your hand. If you push that down so the knot's on top of the mesh and pull. Nice and tight down, as you can see there. Nice and tight, then same again. Another overhang knot. Probably about a couple of centimetres further up, just so when you pull it, you should see now, there should be two knots. All we do then, cut in the middle, and voila, you have a perfectly good stick, which, like you say, can be used to either hook on the hook, pull a rig through it and hook in the bottom, or even if you just want to throw some out. These are going nice and tight, so when they do melt, nice little explosion. All the bait will be nice on the floor, presented with your hook bait. Well guys, thanks very much for listening in. Hope that little tutorial helped, uh, and I look forward to making videos in the future. All I ask, if you do like the content, is give us a subscribe. Get us on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Cash the Crafty Carper. YouTube video, Caster Crafty Carper TV, and I also run a Facebook group for local lads in Staffordshire, which is Castle Cork Crew. Feel free to add us up, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Nice one and tight lines.